Hey everybody, Brick Lover 18 here today with my Brick Fet 2014 Toronto haul. So I am super excited for this haul. I had a great time at the convention, and now that I'm home, I can do a haul video on it. So first off, let's start with all the free things that I got, which is not not too many, but a lot of it. The majority of the free things I got were business cards. So I got a huge stack of business cards, and I'm not going to show you every individual one. I just wanted to let you know that I got a ton. Everybody who went out the door got these Brick Ford minifigure accessory packs, like Brick the Bear Virginia. So because I had two people, I got two, and you save 10% on your next order before November 30th, 2014. So I got two of those. I haven't even opened my Brick Fair 2012 ones yet. And the last free thing I got wasn't from Brick Fett, it was from Kevin Hinkle. And of course, that's his little mini move, that's his little mini figure. So I didn't even know Kevin was going to be there at the convention, so when I walked by him and he said, Hi, I like your shirt because I was wearing my Brick Fair Virginia shirt from last year. I'm like, oh, hi, uh, do you have your minifigure? And last year when I asked him for a minifigure, he said that he only gives them out at uh, the lectures or uh, seminars that he does. And he just did one, so he didn't have any left. So luckily, I got this Kevin Hinkle minifigure. That was really awesome of him, and I thank him a lot for that. The next thing that I'll, show you, that I'll show you that I got is from the BrickFet booth, or from BrickFet itself, but I bought this stuff. So the first thing is the BrickFet 2014, gotta get it as the bag, minifigure. This is a very cool figure, and I really am glad I got it. it was, I don't, I'll tell you how much it was. I'm not going to tell you everything, but this minifigure is $5. And it's custom printed front and back, so it's a good deal, I think, for convention minifigure. The next thing I got were, were two of the BrickFet 2014, 2014, yeah, bricks. Because I wanted them, one for my brick badge and one for my dad's brick badge. So when we get, when we go to our next convention, we can show that we each have a, a brick fat badge. So it doesn't look like we've just been to one convention. While I was at the booth buying those two things, I ended up buying this Canada brick. I thought that was really cool, so I had to buy it. I don't remember how much it was. I don't remember how much that was either, but some things I remember, some things I don't. I also went back to get something else, and I saw these pins, and I just had to get them. One was this Brick Fett pin, it just says Brick Fett. These pins were dollar each. This one's a Lego pin, so which is pretty cool. And finally, a classic space one. I thought that was really awesome, and I, they were only a dollar each. I also got a Brickfet t-shirt from them. It is gray and it is on the screen now. It won't fit on my white backdrop, so that's why it's just an overlay clip. And they actually have this machine on the giveaway table where you put $3 in it, you turn the knob, and you got a minifigure. And you also got some tickets. One ticket that you got, you kept, and one ticket you put in the bin for a giveaway. And these were the little things that they were all in. So I got four of them because I wanted to enter a few times and I was looking for one specific minifigure. Didn't get it until the fourth try. So you got four coupons, free coupons. I got four of these things, which I'm not going to put all four out, I'll just put one out. And I got some minifigures. So the first minifigure I got, I got it, did it again, got it, did it again, and got it. So yes, that's right. I have three of this minifigure here. Three of him. So that's a lot, but oh well. Put them all over onto the scene here. And finally, on the fourth try, I finally got the minifigure that I wanted, and it was this custom Canada minifigure. I had Canada printing on it and everything, so that's really, that was the main reason I wanted it. So they were $3 a figure, and you did not know which one you were getting. So the next booth, it was at the uh, BrickFet booth. It wasn't by BrickFet, but they were selling it for the person who couldn't make it. And it was this, all these bins with all the same things in them, and it was four, four bags for ten dollars so it was a really good deal so I of course bought four bags and there's some set there were some little mini like almost poly bags but they weren't ever poly bags and then there were some pieces of brick and they were all the same so they bought bought in bulk. So the first bag I bought was this bag of dishes and silverware and utensils and stuff like that from my new friend in this blue color. 
They also have some in the yellow, but I have more yellow than blue. I also bought this Happy Birthday minifigure builder pack, which I thought was a cool idea. It comes with one figure, and it comes with an official LEGO Builder's license and some instructions and stuff, which I didn't even realize until after I bought. So this is really cool. And they were like two, they were two fifty each, each one of those. So it was a good deal. I got this train, which is in the bag, but it's a caboose here with you drive on it, and it comes with three cars, and it actually comes with train wheels. So I figured I'm not gonna sell it, obviously, but I figured I could get a decent amount of money for this, more than two fifty was what I paid. I also bought these three micro bill things, mini bill, micro bill, an airplane, a helicopter, and a fire truck. And again, these were four for ten dollars, so I could have gotten four of this or four of that, but they were a really good deal. The next thing I got is that a booth called Neon Brick. So the first thing I got was this little uh, bow and arrow. So I thought that was just. I saw that and I'm like, ah, it's, this is a custom element, it's not actually Lego, but I use it for Lego anyway. And I also got this mini mystery pack for $5. It includes eight accessories. All I have looked at it, but I'm not going to show you in this video, but they're all accessories off the table, but they're mystery. So basically for $8, you got eight, or for $5, you got eight accessories. So, and they were all on their table, so basically you got three free, and you bought the mystery pack, but you didn't know what you were getting. The next booth, the first people, which is, was definitely one of my favorite booths there. I love the most from them. I got this poly bag set number 30228. This 42-piece Khalees poly bag. There was a promotional poly bag in January, but I never actually got it. So I got it. I got it there. And it was only $5, which was a really good deal. That's about the price you pay in the store for a poly bag. So I was pretty happy to pay $5 for that poly bag. I got some of their custom weapons. I didn't buy the 40 pack this year. I just bought this pack. They didn't know how many were then. It looks like 10. Mm, count. A bunch of chrome and stuff. And that was only $4. So I figured with just the chrome weapons alone are really cool. So that's why I bought that. I also, I don't normally buy collectible minifigures from people. But I decided to because they had their, this, the prices here for that were amazing. I got this artist Lego Collect Series 4 minifigure. Uh, it comes with all its accessories. It did not come with a bag or instructions, but that's okay because I don't need them. I got this artist minifigure for only $5, which is a really good deal because other places had it for 6 and up. So I got it for $5, so I was really happy with that one. The next minifigure I got, which was this Lego Movie minifigure, and that was a Panda minifigure. I had tried to get this figure, but I just could never find it, and they had it for $4, which is only 50 cents more than I would have paid a few months ago in the store. So I mean, and I tried to find this mini figure, but I could never find it. Funny story about that is I, she put it, they had all their mini figures in a bag, and when I walked away with the bag, I went to show my dad, and he was all excited because I just bought this mini figure, and there were only a few parts in it. So I went back, and I'm like, I'm sorry, but there's only a few parts in it. And she's like, oh, okay. Did they fall out in your bag? And I said, no, they didn't. I pulled it out, and she's like, okay, she believed me, and she actually opened up her drawer to buy the mini figure, because she had all her mini figures in the back, and that all the parts started rolling around in their drawer, so she knew that I wasn't lying, and she, but she trusted me because I had just bought an lot from her store, so why would I steal a few parts? I also got this minifigure from them. Don't know what it is. I asked her what it is, and she said it was from an old set her husband used to have, and they had a few of them, but because it was only a dollar, and I didn't know what it was, I thought I could, should grab it, just why not? Um, and then they also had a bunch of minifigure accessories, so I got for 25 cents each, so I got the fairy wand, I got two of these pistols, pirate pistols, muskies, focus, 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 those were cool, and these were only 25 cents each, and the most, the thing I was most excited for, for the 25 cents each pile, was these wings, so they go on your minifigure, and they also have two studs on the back, so I thought that was really cool. I should have almost gotten more of them for 25 cents, but I didn't. And the final thing I got from them was this pack of parts. It was like from this, I don't know what set it exactly, but it was a beach accessory pack. It comes with three palm leaves, a bunch of random parts, and some food and stuff like that. I think it was from the series collectible minifigures when you got three minifigures in the beach pack. I think that's what it was from. 
and it was only three dollars. So again, why not get it? That's definitely more than three dollars worth of parts there. That was the old last thing I got from the Brick people. The next thing I got from Alt Bricks, they sell a bunch of custom leaves and stuff like that. But I got these street signs. So street, they have stuff like Brick Road, Mott Plaza, AFOL Way, uh, more a lot of Brick Road, Brick Plate Drive. And there was one I really liked was Stud Street. And, like that was really cool. So I got these, and these were ten dollars. So I thought they were very expensive. I thought, and I wasn't going to get them until he told me that I could buy some street lights. For five dollars, so I thought for ten dollars is too expensive for this, but I thought five dollars was pretty cheap for this. So fifteen total from them made it worth it. I thought. So you get four street lights and enough to actually use all of these, though, which he told me. So I was pretty excited about that. So I got those, and I figured I'll put those in my city. And finally, from the last booth I got was from Brickmania, I believe the booth. I think it was Brickmania. And I got this free Brick Arms brick for spending $20 or more. And I saw them behind the counter and I asked how, I wasn't going to spend $20, but I saw these bricks behind the counter and I said, how do you get those? He said, yeah, well, if you spend a certain amount of I'm like, well, how much is that certain amount? Because if it's $50, like, good luck. He said, about oh, $20. I said, sold. So I went and got down $20 worth of stuff from that. And this brick is for my brick batch. So the first thing I got were these two squat team SWAT, uh, I guess you'd call them, I'll take them out of the bag, I don't know what you'd even call them actually. Best, I guess SWAT best, because they had SWAT minifigures there, and I really liked them, but they were $15, and they just didn't like, consist of very much, and I just couldn't justify spending $15 on one figure, without any custom printing and stuff. Well, they had the head was custom printed, but that's it. So we got two of these SWAT best, and they were $2 each. I thought that was a good deal, so I'm like, I could definitely make some SWAT. I also got this helmet, which is similar to the helmet that the SWAT people use. Don't really need it. Or I should have maybe gotten two, but I can't imagine making more than one SWAT minifigure. And to get that was $5. And to get myself to the $20, I bought this weapons accessory pack. Or not weapon, this, like, um, what's it called? Value pack. So, it contains 20 assorted arms. It's exclusive edition, apparently. For only $15. So I thought that's more than that's just less than uh, $1 per weapon. So, and that's what they sell them for for the most part a dollar a weapon. So I said that I thought that was a pretty good deal. So thank you for watching my Brick Fet Toronto 2014 Lego haul. I had a lot of fun at the convention and spent, spent a significant amount, not too much, but not, not, not a little. It's a significant amount, but not too much, thankfully. But I still have some money left over. Well, thank you for watching this haul by Brick Lover 18 of Brick Fest Toronto 2014. I had a lot of fun at the convention, and I definitely suggest you go to one in Canada. So, thank you for watching this video by Brick Lover 18 of my haul. Stay tuned for my Lego store haul.